welcome back to another episode of Chasing Shadows. I have a really, really big night planned out for you guys. We are at the Tri-Cities Hospital in Dallas, Texas. It's since long been abandoned. And we were driving around trying to find an entrance. There's fences all around this place. Uh, a lot of riffraff happens here, so they have a security guard out front. But we're driving around. I said, you know what? Let's just pull in and ask the guy. We pull in, we ask the guy. He loves paranormal investigators. He opens the gate and lets us in, guides us back to the morgue, and that's where we are right now. We are at the morgue of the Tri-Cities Hospital, and we are about to go inside and see what we can find here. This place is very creepy. I'm shaking already. So let's get it started. I mean, let's just get in there and let's let's start let's start uh let's start investigating. So when we go full night vision, we really got to be careful. Is that an EMF hit already? I'd like to take this chance to apologize for any obscene graffiti you see in this video. I've gone through and cut out what I could. And this is one of the reasons that they have this building fenced off because of the vandalism that took place here. So my apologies for the obscenities. Time to left. Right. <clears throat> I apologize for the, for, for the graffiti. I do apologize for the obscene graffiti. There's broken bulbs. All right, so he said go down to the hallway, right? Mm -hmm. Hang another left. Somebody was shooting a gun in here, huh? They said they, were, uh, they had practiced a bombing run for the, the local police. Oh, maybe that's what they're doing. Yeah. See all the bullet holes in the wall, guys? I bet you that's exactly what that is. All right, let's just kind of get in here. Oh, he said go down another set of stairs. <laughs> oh my God, this is so sketchy. Watch your step. See her? I thought I heard voices like ringing inside the wall, but it could have just been that. Yeah, it was the vibration of the concrete. It sounded like a female voice. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's test it out and see. Hold it up to one of the lights right there. I don't think there's any power on in here, dude. I think the power is completely shut off. I think any of this what is that my name is Jeff and this is Matt and we are here to speak with you tonight to hear your story we don't mean you any harm we do, do not come here to disrespect you we just want to document and observe and that's it you're not allowed to touch us you're not allowed to use our energy you're not allowed to follow us but we want to speak with you. Are you stuck in this hospital? If you're here with us, can you give us a noise from where you're at? Maybe a knock on the wall? If you could muster up your voice and say something. It is very quiet in here. I like it. What is that? It is very cold down here too. That's the road. 
So this must lead to the outside. Here's the elevator. What do you think was down here? You think this was where they... Because it's got the gurney, it's got the gurney ramp. But you can hear right outside here. don't think oh what is this a body shoot oh this is a dumb waiter this is a dumb waiter for sending stuff up and down this was some sort of desk area right mm -hmm. <clears throat> and people come here and break this place up that was the saddest thing when we talked to the security guard what did I say um, the security guard said, I'll let you in, just don't break anything, but, you know, we're respectful. We don't want to come out here and, and damage stuff. Is that you again? Yeah. That's me. Okay. That's all right. It just, it sounded like a voice. It sounded like a female voice again. See, they even busted up the pipes. outside all right let's cut back i liked up in that spot i think is the spot to do some necrophonic man because it was quiet up there i mean you couldn't hear the outside you couldn't hear anything what do you think man oh my god this place is so awesome i cannot believe we just got in by asking you know we were gonna park we we're gonna park and try and like sneak in or do something like that and I just figured, like, why not ask the guy? <laughs> He's cool, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he was. And our car's protected. I was really worried about parking on the street. Yeah. Alright, that's the room we were just in right there. This leads to nowhere. We gotta go back up the ramp. Yes, we're here to speak with you. Would you mind telling us how you died? And down the hallway, it looked like there was a shadow peeking around the door. You see that? That's really strange. Dude. See that thing there? It looked like somebody was leaning around the corner, peeking at us. Like, not a full body, like a kid-sized body. You know? Can you tell us your name? We would like to communicate with you. Uh, you know how to use this device in his hand because you're talking to us right now. Baby spider. That's where I get Cabo feelings from. Those things right there. I'm trying not to flash your eyes. Shh, baby spider. That's when I feel cobwebs. That's what's crawling on me. <clears throat> what 
We're, we're just here to talk with you. We don't mean you any harm or any disrespect. Can you tell us your name? Do you know what graveyard, graveyard we've, we've been to? This is where we enter. I think we should get set up and do a necrophonic session in here and see what we catch. And maybe go full spectrum and night vision while we're standing here. Uh, maybe we should stand in the dark to get to the company. Yeah, let's do that. So that way they feel comfortable. I'll just leave the red light on. Um, just keep holding it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold it while we're doing it because the camera doesn't pick it up good when you're... I think inside of here we'd be all right, though, so, right? There's no ambient noise. Uh-uh. And the noise isn't just absorbing. We're going to use a device that's going to be a little bit easier for you to communicate with us, okay? Hold this camera for me real fast. This is a strange succession of words to get through the necrophonic. It sounds like in three different languages, the spirits are telling me to come here with the dead. What's your name? Tell us where we're at right now. We're here to speak with you. Do you want to talk with us? Stuck here in this hospital?
Like what? When you were heading down with the red light. Can you, can you see the light? I see you now. My reflection over there is a red light. Here, here, I can assure you that I am going through listening to this episode with my headphones on. And each word I hear, I edit it in by itself. And when I get done with the scene, I go back to the beginning of the scene and I watch it through again. And watching this past scene through, I have goosebumps on every inch of my body. It sounds like there's a spirit here that's in great pain because she has burns all over her body. What a strange group of words to get in a place such as this. What's your name? Are you, do you know that you're dead? We have, we have permission to be here. We're not, we're not doing anything disrespectful. We're not here to break anything. We're not going to hurt anything. We're just here to talk with you. Do you want to talk with us? Yeah, what's your, what's your name? The man that just said, yeah, what's your... Did he just say Bert again? I thought I just heard Bert again. What's your name? Did you die in this hospital? Jim. It's so weird the way the, the sound echoes inside this building. Hit, hit down there with a the flashlight real fast. 
Put it on the point. Put it on the point. Did you die? Where did you die in this hospital? I thought I was hearing stuff too, but it was your boots. <laughs> anyway, this place is crazy, dude. We just ran a necrophonic session in the dark up here in the morgue. And it's creepy. Like, we just kept checking. We just kept looking at each doorway, like, back and forth, just waiting to see somebody standing there. Is anybody here with us? on the wall, is it? <laughs> what is that? Oh, right there. Oh. That looks like blood. I guess blood doesn't stay red though, right? So let's go see what's back here. What's this? scared me, man. I thought somebody was in here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we heard the, the boots try to feed on the gravel. Yeah. But we didn't hear him walk away, so I guess it was just right there in that old room. Yeah, the sound just echoes inside here. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Is that your shadow? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> your shadow. Look at that. Look up on that. Look up on that. Oh, it's that bag. You see that? Dude. Dude. Is this outside? A little bit. Yeah, I'm a little jumpy, dude. This place is freaky. If there's somebody here with us, can you make a knock on something like this? sounded muffled, but it definitely sounded like a, a male voice. These walls are pretty dang thick. We can't hear anything from outside from here. Well, I can hear the car right there, but you're probably right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, we'll turn off the light. Walk where? Down here. Down where? Down the hallway? Because it disappeared for a second when I looked at it. keeps getting stranger and stranger the longer I edit this video. It appears that the spirits noticed we were going in the wrong direction, so they got us to turn around. And when they did, a woman's voice can be heard saying, a little to the right. This is very important. You'll see in part two why. Let me know what you guys think the spirits are trying to tell me in the comments down below. Can you say my name? Who is the boy? Oh, 